Welcome to our surf tutorial video. This video is going to look at how to set up a customer correctly in surf. Now, when you first log into surf, you'll be shown your dashboard, which is your homepage. And from here, there are two different options for setting up, setting up a customer. You can use the create new tab across the top and select customer from here. Or alternatively, you can use the sales tab on the left hand side. If you click on this and select customers, it brings you to your customer homepage. Now we have not entered any customers for this company yet, but if we did have customers, it would show them here in alphabetical order and it would also show the balance that that customer owes us. So we're gonna click on add a customer here. And this shows the initial general information that we have to enter for our customers. Now this is quite important as this information will be pulled into your sales invoices that you send to your customers. And also the contact details that you enter as the email address will be used for sending those invoices to your customers. So I'm just going to pause the video now quickly, enter that information and show you what it looks like. So you can see here we've entered the customer name, the contact name, that contact's position, the address, phone number and email. And as I said, that information is important for not only generating sales invoices, but sending sales invoices to your customers and you'll see that information pull through on our tutorial video on how to create a sales invoice. Important is in invoice settings. In here, you can select an account manager if you wish, but it's not necessary. And also you can set a credit limit for your customers. So for instance, you might only want the balance on your customers to go so high. We would say it's very, very important to enter the VAT number for your customers as you would like this to show on your sales invoices. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use a made up VAT number for this made up customer. Similarly, it's important to enter payment terms as again, you might want this to show on your sales invoice and it's a lot easier to set up this information now when you're putting in your customer. So it generates on every invoice rather than putting it in every time you do an invoice. I've entered an example there of payment terms that you might use. Similarly, then your default information is very, very important. So you might want your customers to receive statements or you might want them to never receive statements. And that's fine. You can select that yourself. Your nominal code is important as this will save time in the future when you're entering your sales invoices as the information will be generated automatically rather than you having to enter it every time. So normally for customers, we would just select sales. And it's also similarly important to set your VAT code. So normally your sales would be at 23%, 13.5% maybe if you're at reduced rate. Um, but this is important again, because it saves you having to enter that information every time you're putting in a sales invoice. And like I said, you'll see all that on our tutorial video for entering sales invoices. So you click save. And you can see here, it has brought me back to my customer homepage. And you can see, so you can see there, it's set up a customer code, which is normally the first three letters of the company name followed by three numbers. It's put in the company name and it also shows balance as zero. Now that's because we haven't entered any invoices for this customer. You'll see on our how to enter sales invoices videos that there will be a balance generated once there's outstanding sales invoices allocated to that customer. Thank you. And I hope you found this helpful.